nice, beautiful ones. I hope that those success oracles will serve you and that you were able to draw out exactly what it is that you know is going to benefit you. It was tons of advice from millionaires and billionaires, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this tarot. And this is serving you on another level, okay? I'm getting into your business here, okay? Be sure to take what is yours and to leave what is not. Beautiful Virgos, let's get into this energy. Spirit, give me cards for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo's energy? What's going on with Virgo's energy? Cards for Virgo. Cards for Virgo. Energies for Virgo, Spirit. Spirit cards for Virgo. It's me. Mm. Wow. More cards, Spirit. Virgo. Taking these how they came out. Wow. My abundance tray over. All right, so we got one card standing. This is one too many, I'm putting it back. Mm -hmm. You got the three of swords that is here, Virgo. Uh -huh. The three of swords is here. And this is about some emotional pain. Of course, it's about your heartbreak, all right? This is the energy of Libra. Mm -hmm. and this is also about the triplicity. And I love that word because it's talking about these three knives. Uh-huh. The try, the triplicity, expression, expansion of the idea, the growth in the first stages of completion, okay? So this is the first stages of something being over when it comes to the heart, the matters of the heart on how you feel about something, someone, somewhere, or someplace, okay? Yeah, this is like the beginning of the end, this type of heartbreak. And this it's three swords here. So I'm gonna be clear. This isn't just like, oh, my achy breaky heart, you know? No, this is somebody that has stabbed you in your heart multiple times, okay? And it could be three individuals involved, including yourself. So we got the Knight of Swords that's here. And the Knight of Swords, that's more air energy, okay? This is Capricorn, Aquarius energy, but this is about someone wanting to be ambitious and feeling really driven when it comes to succeeding at what it is that they want, okay? What it is that they're thinking about. And this is a fast thinker. This is someone who is on their toes. This is air energy, okay? When we talk about this Aquarius energy, and then it's that combination of, you know, you going after what it is that you want. Uh-huh. And this energy is encouraged. You have the fool that's here. Mm-hmm. And the fool is in reverse. This is somebody who is holding back really how they feel. They're hesitant about it because they've made some bad choices and they were reckless in the choices that they made when it comes to this fool being here in reverse. Next to the fool, we have the three of wands. This three of wands energy, Aries energy, okay? Fire with these three of wands. This is about someone who is wanting to prepare for some type of progress in their life. They have some foresight, all right? They're looking to be expansive, okay? Build their own enterprise and expand it. And this could possibly be 
connected to someone who is overseas or is over a body or a mass of water, okay? Uh-huh. Someone could possibly have you on their mind or vice versa, okay? On how to get to where the money resides, okay? Now, whether that is financial money, uh-huh, or someone who is very valuable to you, all right? Mm-hmm. Or this energy feels that you are the valuable. You're the MVP, okay? Period. You got the devil card that's out here, okay? And if you can't see it, here it goes. Uh-huh. Devil card is out here. And, of course, we know this is all about attachments, codependency. This is all about addictions. And also using seduction as a form of a devil energy, okay? Yeah, seductive behavior. Um, using it in forms of addictions. You got a Knight of Cups as here, and this Knight of Cups next to the devil is someone who's creative, all right? And this is the Prince Charming of the Tarot. And this energy is wanting to follow their heart mm -hmm. and propose, make some type of proposal of some sort, okay? Mm -hmm. And a proposal is not all the time a marriage proposal, okay? There are many proposals, especially if we're talking about success and, you know, um, your abundant year that is ahead of you, beautiful ones, okay? You got the Queen of Cups that's here. And the Queen of Cups, we know who she is. She's full of compassion. And she's a caring nurturer, but somebody is in their head with this Nine of Swords energy when it comes to a Queen of Cups, okay? You got the Nine of Swords that's here. This is somebody dealing with a lot of anxiety. Let's go ahead and get into this and see what's going on. Your overall energy is the Emperor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I know where this message is going. This is going to be about a masculine energy, okay? Or someone who is filled with wisdom and has, you know, leadership power. And this may be you. Okay? However, take what is yours and leave what isn't. Beautiful ones. I split the deck. This is about a collaboration that took place, okay? Possibly involving an emperor. All right? Mm -hmm. There's a collaboration that took place, and we're going to see how that turned out. Because we've got the Three of Swords and the Devil here. Three of Swords, Spirit for Virgo. Thank you. Yeah. Will of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is about destiny. Somebody basically, um, this energy of bad luck, good luck, uh-huh. So when it comes to this three of swords, spirit wants you to look at this as a part of your destiny, uh-huh. And also, it's some good luck, <laughs> okay? Whether you like to admit it or not, this was a cycle that had to happen. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune is about ups and downs as well. And it's also about life choices and karma. So there may have been some choices that you made that led to this Three of Swords energy that turned out to work in your favor, okay? Because nothing in your destiny is on accident. Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords spirit for Virgo. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you got the six of wands out here, okay? You're in this energy to where you're being publicly recognized, okay? And you're coming through as the victor, like you're super victorious in this energy, okay? And it's all due to your self-confidence. Yeah, six of wands. It's all about how you move, about how you found your balance and how you were able to be the solution to whatever it is that needed the solution when it came to you and your personal healing and harmony, okay? You became the solution and that was in your destiny. So it was like you were being guided to heal yourself through this heartbreak that was destined to polar, to like, you know, push you forward. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because you got Ace of Wands as your overall energy. This is about a new project. This is about spirit urging you to be in creation. 
and create these new opportunities for yourself. This is all about new growth. So we got this Knight of Swords has here. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Let's put the deck. Ace of Pentacles is here, okay? Uh-huh. This is about your abundance and everything that you've been manifesting. This time that you've been spending, you've been manifesting. Uh-huh. Let's talk about it more. Knight of Swords for Virgo. Knight of Swords, Virgo. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. The sun is here. This is all about you being driven. Mm-hmm. And being a fast thinker, like thinking on your toes. Uh-huh. They can't, they can't deal with it. This is about you being positive and having pleasure. It's creating your own happiness, okay? Because you knew when to act. Uh-huh. You knew when to act and you're creating success. This is also, the sun is about a rebirth. Frequency of nine. And 19, it reduces down to one. So this is all about your new beginnings and success. And success. New beginnings in success, okay? I love that, Virgo. I love it, all right? Mm-hmm. Because the overall energy that you were dealing with before, the Sagittarius energy, this was burdens. Nothing but burdens. Mm-hmm. But this is what's being seen. You're coming through victorious and people are seeing you in your victorious energy. People know you to back. They know it. The fool in reverse, spirit. The fool in reverse. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you got the five of swords that's in the reverse. This is about people from the past that feel some type of way about you, but fuck them. Okay? Uh-huh. With a broomstick. Past resentment, desire to reconcile, making amends, desire to forgive, Virgos, forgive, never forget, uh-huh, release the energy of whoever it is that done you wrong or, you know, was in your energy trying to cause conflict, somebody wants to get over that, and Virgo, I believe that you're over that, however, this energy is still here wanting your forgiveness. And guess what? Someone wanting your forgiveness is none of your business, okay? And if you choose to forgive, I encourage you not to forget and don't get thrown off your horse when it comes to the victories that are you are destined to achieve, okay? Mm-hmm. Many of my Virgos are going to be in the spotlight. Many of my Virgos are shining very hard and will continue to do so in 2024 three of wands spirit three of wands for virgo three of wands it's me mm, yeah three of wands somebody probably traveled towards you okay to create a ten of swords energy this three of wands uh-huh yeah, this is somebody who was trying to prepare for their own progress, okay? They was worried about building their enterprise when they done this. This person could have traveled over water. Yeah. Or vice versa. However, the intent in which this person came to you in when it came to the, what it was they saw as expansion, it was ill intent behind it because they stabbed you in your back 10 times over and over again. This is a painful ending. And this is deep wounds as well as betrayal. This is also, it felt like a crisis was happening, okay? You may have feel like you took a lot of loss as well as failed, okay? Yeah, this is all about someone wanting to see you defeated and collapsed, but that did not happen. Tell us about the Ten of Swords. Wow, this person watches you. Uh-huh. Overall energy is this person spying and watching you, okay? This is a person that has prying eyes and they're just constantly having different ideas about you as they mentally stalk you, okay? Restlessly. Like, this energy is just a busybody all up in your business. Tell us about the Ten of Swords, Spirit. Ten of Swords for Virgo. Yes,
thinking. Mm. Too many foot. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So this Ten of Swords is here. When it comes to the Six of Pentacles energy, we got Six of Pentacles here. And this is about sharing the wealth, uh-huh. Generosity and being charitable and sharing. Somebody made a move towards you so that they can feed somebody else, okay? Off of your dime, your time, your energy. This is an energy vampire. This is an energy thief, okay? Who could not find their balance. It could have, they could be, uh, you know, it could be a Taurus energy that is in this energy as well. But yeah. Mm -hmm. And now this energy sits in hermit mode, really thinking about what it is they did and who it is they did it to, okay? They're soul searching right now. They're doing a lot of introspection. So this is why you see this five of swords that's in reverse. Somebody wants your forgiveness for everything that they tried to do against you, all right? This is about somebody really wanting to utilize the wisdom that they have, okay? And seeking some inner guidance, trying to sit still with oneself to be able to listen to those messages from source, if they even come through to this energy, okay? Spirit is telling me there's a third eye blockage with this energy. I split the deck, yeah, because they're collaborating with other energies. Third eye, for me to say a third eye blockage, wow, look how these cards is falling. Look at them, come through, spirit. For me to say a third eye blockage in the three of pentacles to come up, okay? Three of Pentacles, the number three, they're collaborating or they collaborated with energies in order to fulfill this prophecy of really how to drain you of your resources, whatever they were, Virgo, okay? And it was deceitful. Uh-huh, it was a betrayal. It was all about some trickery and a whole lot of acting going on, okay? And it could have been a temperance angel, Right? This is Sagittarius energy. But let's talk about it some more, okay? Give us the Six of Pentacles, Spirit. Give us the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wanted to harvest off of your harvest and share with a bunch of losers that are not fertile. This is what I'm getting. Spirit, Six of Pentacles for Virgo. Six of Pentacles for Virgo. Six of Pentacles. Thank you. It's me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They knew that you were in your nine of cups energy. You're their wish fulfillment. However, mm, look, don't play with it. Don't play with it. You're the wish fulfillment, okay? You're this gift from the most high that was given when it came to an opportunity, a new love. What Spirit is telling me is that this energy didn't know how to break free from a tradition that they were used to operating in. And they... Definitely did not know how to handle a nine of cups energy, okay? Uh-huh. This is about somebody who is emotionally stable and they're filled with a lot of gratitude. Uh-huh. And they came in the energy of an ace of cups. This is a new love. This was some new feelings and some compassion. Probably, you know, and also... Uh, a new, it could mean a new baby. It could mean a marriage. It could mean a proposal. However, this was a new feeling that someone was not used to feeling, okay? I, I want to be very, I want everyone to understand that, you know, the emotions in which it is that you are in tune with, however in depth they may go, everybody is not prepared to receive those emotions or that type of emotional intelligence as well. Now, I'm not making an excuse for anyone that gets down dirty because they're going to get theirs in due time, right? Spirit is saying that they're getting theirs, all right? Because we got this nine of swords down here, all right? Mm-hmm. So let's talk about it some more. The devil energy is out here. Why is the devil here, Spirit? Because they said the devil made them do it, all right? And this card just fell. Let me pick it up. Yeah. And it fell in reverse. Yeah. The devil made them do it. So this energy was connected to a family of individuals. The Ten of Pentacles is in a reverse. And this is the dark side of wealth. This person operates with energies who are on the dark side of wealth on how they get their money. They scheme, they scam, they steal, they kill. Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. And their success is fleeting. They have a lack of stability. Nowhere they put their feet is stable. They're walking in quicksand, all right? 
And this is a lack of resources of what they're dealing with, all right? As, far as, as well as a fall of an empire. Spirit said, bring them down. Bring them down. Yeah. Wow. When it came to the lovers, overall energy is the lovers here. So what I'm gathering is, Virgo, you were connected with the energy who was basically jealous of you and didn't have enough balls to stand up to people who are even, you know, he's weaker than. These are already weak individuals being ruled by their lower selves with the devil. Okay. But this is people who call family and people he called friends. Okay. That were on the dark side of wealth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, you could stand alone, uh-huh, and you could hold both them cups by yourself. This is what no one knew at this time. I don't know who they was dealing with. They was dealing with a high priestess. Who did they think they was dealing with? They were dealing with an energy that already knew these things, Virgo. Yeah, uh-huh. This is the balance of opposites. So whatever it is that they off balance with, you balance that out. And they sit over there unbalanced because they're the opposite of your energy and how your energy flows. Let's talk about this Ten of Pentacles. Some more Ten of Pentacles. Or Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. A speed. Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, the... The cookie bar done crumbled all the way down and this energy just wants to transition and they're looking to change, okay? And they want to move on. They want to leave things behind with this six of pentacles here. It could be a Aquarius energy, okay? Uh-huh. But this energy is never sure about which way to move because they have two minds. Yeah. And this Overall energy is three of pentacles. When I say they have two minds, let's just say they got three minds because this person needs counsel everywhere they go, everywhere they go when it comes to how to move, how to bust a move, okay? This is about collaborations and teamwork, all right? But if they thinking the teamwork make the dream work, look, I split the deck on the three of cups, okay? Quit playing. If they think in the teamwork, like the dream work, they need to look at the energy that they sitting in now and see how beautiful the dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. Uh-huh. With who it is you choose to collaborate with. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Let's talk about it some more. Mm, Virgo, y'all lit. Y'all lit. I ain't been in the energy in a minute. Let's talk about it. This person wants to move forward. And they want to move forward with this Knight of Cups energy, okay? They want to be somebody's Prince Charming. Flipping switches energies, okay? They want to be your Mrs. Princess Charming, okay? Uh-huh. So, Knight of Cups, Spirit, for Virgo. Knight of Cups. Thank you. Okay. Came out in reverse, whatever it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a no-go, bro. You got the world in reverse. Mm-hmm. This is someone who's seeking personal per, personal closure, okay? And they want to take some shortcuts because there have been so many delays. And they also are seeking this closure because they have no closure, okay? They feel incomplete. Because without you, girl, my life is incomplete. Yeah, that's what they're singing. Yeah. People don't have to go to the grave with this energy. They know what time it was or what it is, okay? This is a page of cups overall energy, all right? This is somebody that had a creative opportunity and was really stuck on a new love. Yeah, really stuck on a new love. They said a bird in the hand beats two in a bush, but I got this fish in my cup. And they don't ever want to give it up, period, okay? But this world here is in the reverse. I split the deck. It's a queen of swords energy, okay? You cut this energy off. You're not having it. Your boundaries are up, okay? Possibly replacements in your chart, but let's talk about it some more. The world is in reverse. Why, spirit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you may have a social media platform. Yeah, the world is in reverse. Let's talk about why, okay? Let's, let's get up. Keep it all the way funky, all right? You got the Eight of Cups that's here. This is about somebody feeling disappointed. They feel really disappointed. And they have withdrawn their energy from energies that are around them, okay? 
and they want to leave him all behind and walk away from it, all right? Uh huh. This is this is how they're gonna achieve their personal closure. All right. Now flip and switch these energies. Take what is yours and leave what isn't. Okay. But there's someone in your energy that is realizing that all of this different betrayal and deception that you know it is that they thought they was gonna get away with being a trickster. Guess what? It was being done to them by the very people who they went to sit down and talk to about this elaborate master plan. Right? Yeah. Uh huh. Could have been Capricorn energy along with some uh, Aries energy involved. Uh-huh. Yeah. Somebody was building bricks on a marshmallow foundation. How about that? Mm, that ain't fly. Queen of Cups. Tell us about the Queen of Cups. Yeah, and it didn't do nothing but suspend things and cause delays in their life. All right? Uh-huh. Queen of Cups here. For Virgo. All right, yeah. Queen of Cups is here. This is a balanced individual, okay? The Queen of Cups, excuse me, Queen of Cups and this temperance angel that comes out, Sagittarius energy. Queen of Cups, we're working with Gemini and Cancer energy, okay? But with this temperance energy, this is letting you know that there's a balance that is taking place when it comes to this Queen of Cups. And she's about harmony, and she knows her moderation. And this is what has led her to this energy. Flip and switch, she's energy. Led him to that energy, okay? Operating in this, you know, fruits of labor. You know, I'm gonna be my own boss. And, you know, you, you're already bossy in your own right. However, this is about your self-sufficiency. You creating a sturdy foundation because you done laid down the concrete. You done laid down the bricks. It's solid, okay? You even threw some wood planks on top of that to make sure you got some extra get back when you start laying down the rest of what it is that you'll be growing but you're in this energy right here with this nine of pentacles and you're self-sufficient with it and you're in touch with all the luxuries that it is that you want you're bringing them to you this year point bank player period and I'm not playing when I say it. I split the deck on the Four of Wands. Come on, go off, spirit. Yes, Four of Wands is here. And this is about your celebration. Uh-huh. Come on now, let's get it. This is about your celebration. This is about a possible marriage, a possible union of someone that is walking into your life that's going to bring you joy and that is about community. And it feels like a homecoming, like you coming home. I'm coming home to you. Yeah, that's what it feels like, okay? And you know why it feels that way? Because this is an Ace of Wands energy. This is a new creative spark, an idea, a new project, a new person, new opportunities, new growth, new beginnings, willpower, and desire, okay? A powerful desire, beautiful Virgo energies, okay? What is we working with? 27.57 on the clock, okay? When it comes to this portion of your read, uh -huh, the tarot portion, all right? Mm, I'm loving this energy. Let's go ahead and tap into this nine of swords. And we're going to get ready to close it on out, okay? You're doing a beautiful job. Uh, you know, stay tapped in. Stay tapped in. Beautiful ones, okay? If you have not hit the subscribe button, if you're not a part of the dynasty, what are you waiting on? We over here turning up all 2024 forevermore, okay? All in the dough, 24. That's what I'm saying over here, okay? Because that's what it is. And I stand on that. Yeah. So go ahead, hit the like button if you feel inspired or any of this resonates with where it is you're going, you know, your path. If you feel supported, come on. I'd love to see you over here, beautiful ones, all right? And support the channel by giving that energetic love. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords, Spirit. Nine of Swords for Virgo. Why is the Nine of Swords here? It's me. Mm. Yeah, somebody's in their head because guess what? And it could be Sagittarius energy or have Sagittarius placements. But somebody wants to really, really talk to you. They want to get a message to you, okay? This is somebody who is manifesting you. Uh-huh. They're, they're thinking their power of, you know, what it is they got going on is so powerful that it can create a change in the energy or the atmosphere. But guess what, Virgo? You're the only one that can allow that change to take place if it does, okay? For it is the motion. And I'm going to leave that right there. This energy feels like they are invested in you. Uh-huh. 
This is about a long-term investment. This is someone who feels as if they want to invest in you long-term. Let's tap into this energy. Eight of Wands for Virgo. Eight of Wands. Whoa, that's way too many. Give me a second, y'all. I want to make sure I ain't dropping one. Because I'd be so irritated when they fall on the floor and you get up after a read and It'd be like the lover's card over there in the corner. <laughs> that irks me. <laughs> I'll spit the deck. Yes, yeah, a lot of fighting coming on behind things that are ending in this energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some endings are happening in this energy. And now someone wants to have some quick change in communication when it comes to you. Let's talk about it. Eight of swords. Excuse me. Eight of wands. Spirit. Eight of wands. Eight of wands. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Mm, all right. We got the moon. That is in the reverse, okay? This is somebody wanting to release their fears, okay? And deal with this inner confusion that they have of themselves. This is also about darkness and insecurities and also misinterpretation, okay? Somebody just sit up and lie. And now all their lies is catching up with them, okay? All these secrets are being exposed. Overall, energy is the queen of swords, all right? You cut it out. You cut this energy out of your atmosphere, okay? Uh-huh. And I say atmosphere because you got a sword and this is air energy. Uh-huh. So let's talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and draw from the true emotional oracle all right so we can get some more um, <laughs> into this energy yeah let's go ahead and get some more information what's really going on beautiful ones let's see what else does virgo need to know what's happening in this energy what is happening in this energy mm -hmm. Remember, take this information, and if it's not serving you, you have the information, release it, let it go. Put it in a burning ball, and go ahead and just uh, release it to the ethers. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you could simply write something down on a piece of paper. Hold it over a flame. Be safe, okay? All right? Please be safe. I don't want anyone playing with fire, all right, that don't know how to play, right? Okay? But you could write it down. And you can release it. Mm -hmm. Whoever, whatever. If it's an emotion that they made you feel. All right. I, I know you follow me. You're dealing with a thug. Okay. Yeah. You're dealing with a thug. Who possibly, you know, is used to having some handcuffs put on them. Let's talk about it some more. Spirit, give me cards for Virgo. And for my masculines, she was a thug yet. I mean, a thug is a thug. She once was a thug from around the way. Easy. Okay. <laughs> you living in the moment right now. Ain't nobody got time for that. You living in the moment. And you're really just telling people in the past, goodbye, baby. Uh-huh. You're saying goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Um, bye bye What else? What else? What else? Virgo. 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 What do my Virgo energies need to know? Okay, you evidently need to know this. Uh, yeah, Spirit is saying this was a thug. Like, this energy was beneath you, Virgo. Uh-huh. If you're worried about any perfection, use it for this, okay? Split the deck. This reckless thug. Love and sex. This is all this energy wants is some sex. Because they don't know nothing about love. Uh-huh. They call sex love because it's reckless. That's, that's their interpretation of what love is. Spirit, more cards for Virgo. 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 Thank you. All right. True colors. You see this energy's true colors, okay? Uh-huh. You see this energy's true colors. Mm, but I'm not even going to hold y'all. Mm-hmm. And this ain't no tear jerker. This is just me having to work with exactly what spirit has given me to work with. And these spirit has given me a lot. All right. The true colors of this individual is, you know, that they are a divine masculine. Uh-huh. 
They are divine masculine. And that's what you saw in them. You looked past the thug that you knew they were and you saw their true colors. But if this energy doesn't see their true colors, it ain't nothing here to see. Move along. Let's talk about it. More cards for Virgo. All right, we're gonna take these two that fell out and we're, uh, oh, three, okay, four. Okay, yeah, all right, let's talk about it. This person is drinking and boozing it up, okay? This person probably likes dark liquor and they're using it to cope with the loss of you, Virgo. Spells, love spells, okay? Either this individual is putting love spells on you, but Spirit is telling me they have someone in their energy putting spells on them. What a desperate cow. Oh my goodness. Like a cow that don't even make milk. So that's what Spirit is telling me. Queen B, you're stuck in this Queen B energy and you just can't give it up. You know, and if it's a masculine, you're stuck in this queen, this king energy, okay? <laughs> but you got both in you, you know, you got to have a balance of the masculine, divine masculine, divine feminine, but you're stuck in this king energy. I don't want you to be stuck at being a queen. Please don't do that. We got enough of that going on out here, okay? But this queen be energy, be it feminine or masculine. This is about you being secure and confident and not being a boss bitch. My masculines, you're just a boss, okay? And my feminines, if you want to be a boss without the bitch, you be that too, okay? I don't mind being a bossy bitch myself. Career focused, okay? Because that's what it leads to, career focused. And there's some shocking news that you may find out, mm-hmm about someone. Let me go ahead and pull a couple more cards and close out, all right? This is a new deck. This is one of the new decks I said I was waiting on. I got a few in the mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and somebody feels like they're trapped. Overall energy is trapped, okay? Are they living a trap? Trap house, spirit. More cards for Virgo. Okay, spirit is saying pull this one and one, two, three. All right, let's talk about it. And we're going to go ahead and close out, beautiful ones. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Someone is very ashamed. They're guilty and embarrassed and they feel in the wrong, okay? This person is very ashamed. Losing sleep. This person can't sleep at night. They're worried and they're replaying events and thinking about you, okay? They stuck on you. Mm-hmm workplace affair yeah they're screwing people on their job uh-huh yeah little nasties mm-hmm yeah idle hustle mm, somebody's doing anything they're probably working uber eats door dashing and everything else and there ain't nothing wrong with it but an idle mind is the devil's workshop and this is why i talk to you about being successful beautiful virgos because Everything you do has to be filled with passion. And if it's not pouring into your passion, to build your passion, to support your passion, to give you that sturdy foundation to rock out with when it comes to what it is you're sent here to do, it's idle. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I looked at this and I saw idle, but it's not idle. But the spirit uh, put that word on me to go ahead and deliver it just like that because we do got the devil that came out in your reading but this is a side hustle okay this is side hustle they got a dollar sign okay and the first thing came to mind is idle hustle you know but either way it goes it's still pertaining to exactly what it is i said Beautiful ones, let's go ahead and roll the dice and close out for you. Ah, oh, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead and see what the universe wants you to know. What else needs to be known? Now, I'm going to roll these dice, and these dice are going to be in reference to what is going on in your energy, who is going on, whether it is the day, the number, whether it is your birthday, whether it is... Um, the house that it represents, the age of even a child that may be in question or something, you know? This is the energy that's out here for you. Virgo energy, Virgo energy, Virgo energy. Ooh. All right. Trying to make sure not, nothing falls. Okay. One fail. Where'd you go? They fell. 
feeling it rolled somewhere. Oh, here it goes. And I'm going to re-roll it to, okay? So somebody's born in February. Somebody's born on the second. Second house energy. Check your second house and see what planets are sitting in your second house. How your second house may be being affected, okay? Uh-huh. Because we're working with... um. <laughs> When it comes to these different houses and your success, the second house is going to play a major role. So check your second house. See what's happening. We got the number one that is out here. Uh-huh. Check your first house. Uh-huh. First house energy, second house energy, and as well as you could be born in January. All right. Somebody may be having a birthday. Someone close to you may be celebrating. All right. Um, however, one is here. Actually, today... My son is out celebrating with one of his girlfriends whose birthday is today. So, yeah. Um, we got cancer here. Yeah, the energy of cancer. You may have a cancer placement. Aquarius is here. There was lots of Aquarius energy in his reading as well. All right. 11. Somebody may be born in November. Uh-huh. 11 is here. That's Sagittarius energy. And you got Sag out here as well. Uh-huh. Sag is out here. I don't know if you guys can see that that far back. We got first house activity. Somebody could be born on the first, like I said before. But with us having two ones out here, this is 11. There's a restart that's happening. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have the energy of... Is this Mars? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. These, this planet right here. Give me a second, beautiful ones. I want to just make sure before I call it out. Mm -hmm. Anywho, there's some communication that's going on, right? Um, when it comes to this energy, I just want to make sure that I'm looking at things right over here. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is Mercury. Mm -hmm. And it's all about your transmission. This is your personal planets. This is Mercury. This is about your communication. This is about your business, your commerce, all of that good energy, okay? So, my beautiful ones, this concludes your reading. Virgo, I'll be back in your energy real soon. I love you. Happy New Year. Peace and love and much success and abundance. I am Empress 444, and this is the Turo Dynasty. Over here, we forgot a dice. <laughs> you know, and I know some of you are looking like, hey, what about that dice over there? What does that dice say? You got a Leo energy in your energy, beautiful ones, okay? Possible Leo in your energy. Peace and love.